It's relentless and it's raging. The wildfires in Southern California have already burned tens of thousands of acres and hundreds of homes to the ground. 200,000 people have been forced to flee. Now the near hurricane force winds are stoking the flames and pushing them even further to the second largest city in the U.S. The massive fires racing up mountains and through canyons devouring large swaths of land and everything else in its path. Hot Santa Ana winds, tinder dry conditions and often difficult terrain, the perfect recipe for a monster fire and a nightmare for weary firefighters. The brush burning index, that's a number that we rate the threat of a brush fire. For tomorrow is 296. This is the highest number I've ever seen in my career. Late last night, new evacuation orders as the largest blaze, the Thomas Fire, threatened thousands of more homes in Ventura County and crept closer to an arts community about 80 kilometers northwest of Los Angeles. A number of fires also menacing the biggest city on the U.S. West Coast. The so-called Skirball Fire erupted Wednesday morning, quickly burning through 200 hectares and threatening multi-million dollar estates in LA's upscale Bel Air neighborhood and threatening the Getty Center Arts Complex and its priceless collection. That same fire partially closed parts of the heavily traveled Interstate 405 Wednesday, not far from LA's famous Mulholland Drive. The strong winds making the fires ever more unpredictable, whipping up flames and embers and sparking new spot fires. Late Wednesday, officials sending an emergency alert to all of Los Angeles County, warning of extreme fire danger. Fire crews are desperately trying to stay ahead. Their state of exhaustion also playing a factor, even as reinforcements arrive from elsewhere. We are stretched thin. We are sending less resources to current 911 calls. My firefighters have been working since Sunday. So our people are getting tired. We are relying on outside resources and agencies to assist us as we continue this effort. Now this video has been making its rounds on social media. This man, he was actually a driver, he was a motorist, and in the midst of the wildfires, he pulled over on the side of the highway to rescue a rabbit. Now, some are calling him a hero, but others are saying it really wasn't the smartest thing to do.